Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the makeup kits because um, e.l.f. have an offer at the moment that if you spend over £25 and use the code, I think it's a gift for you, um, have a look on the channel that it's written there and I'll put it in the sidebar as well, you get one of these, which is the mini makeup collection, which is about £15 to buy on its own. Um, but today I'm going to be doing a look from the medium one because there is a stack more stuff in that one. Um, it's fantastic value for money. And also, there is the large one, which is amazing too, but if you're just starting off in makeup and you just want to play and have a few nice products, the medium one is definitely for you. And who knows, if you order this one for the 18th of December, and a few other bits, you probably get this one free too. So I've got them both here. Um, excuse the state of this one, because I do use it when I'm sort of travelling. Um, so you can see I've used some of the lipsticks and stuff. And I'm going to put some swatches in this video, um, and also some close-up sort of shots, so you can see the individual colours. and so on in, in a bit more clarity. So that is the mini one and in it you get um, a cream shadow base, um, lots of different coloured neutral eyeshadows plus some nice smoky coloured ones. You get some brow powder, you get a mini um, eye coal and you get some lip glosses and some lipstick. So fantastic value. And then it comes in this lovely sort of hard wearing case, so it really, and I've dropped this a few times on my travels and it's been absolutely fine. The medium one, which there's nothing medium about it, it's absolutely huge mungus. Look at it, that's half of it. And there's the other half of it. So if I push it closed, you just sort of slide in the bits like that so it's hard to do from this angle. You get all of those eyeshadows, absolutely insane the amount of eyeshadows. And then if I open it again, you get bronzers and this is a really good contouring powder, some beautiful blushes, you get a few brushes, you get a decent sized sort of blusher brush, sort of a mini C brush and what's the other one? A mini C brush and a mini sort of, I would call this a lip liner and a sort of eyeliner brush and um, you can define the eyes with that. Um, you get one of these beautiful lipsticks and, and I sort of think that's a nice sort of sparkly gloss. I would do one look today and then what I'd like you to do is leave a comment below if you would like me to do any particular coloured looks using this palette because I think there's such a huge range of colours in this palette that a lot of the, the studio line the colours, they, they, they don't have these sort of vibrant blues, sort of nice sort of uh, sea foamy greens, absolutely gorgeous, and a range of different finishes. So some are matte, some are glittery, some are shimmery. So really good choice. So. The third one down from the top. So I'm just lightly going to dab that over the eyelid. Because my eyes are prominent, this is a really great tip for pushing them back into the eye socket. Just start with a nice sort of neutral coloured matte shade just all over and it just serves as a really great base the colours. There you go, just dabbing that on underneath. Third one in from the top, which is a really nice gold colour. Sort of a creamy gold. I'm just going to place that 
very lightly over the lid up to the crease. That just adds some warmth to the look. I'm going to start adding some definition to the eyes and to do that I'm going to use this really beautiful smoky purple second in from the bottom from the left. I'm going to take that lightly into the crease and slightly up so you can see that's just adding a bit of definition to the eyes. I'm just going really lightly, you can hardly see it but it is worth doing it like this because then you can add more to it add more colour as you need it and a slight bit in there you can see that sort of really added some great definition to the eyelid take a little bit more of that just work it onto the outer corner and gently inwards just gently, I don't need a lot now I want my lid space to look as sort of big as possible just run it along the lash line, the top lash line, and we're done. Get blender, this is from the, um, the everyday line, and gently begin to blend that over. And if I need to add more colour, if it starts to get a bit sort of faded, then I will do. You can also use a slightly lighter colour to blend, so I might use sort of a goldy brown to just sort of help that blend in a bit more. I'm just going to blend it gently upwards, fade it to nothing, like this. Then on the other side, take a bit of that sort of golden brown, kind of one of the ones in the middle, doesn't matter which one you use, whichever sort of suits you. Really blend that nicely. Spend a lot of time on blending, it's really worth it, really worth it. Now I'm just going to go back to that sort of nice gold colour and tap that under the brow, just gently, and then give that a really great blend. So there, given my eyes some really great definition. The black studio liner here, and I'm just going to take that onto the lower waterline. I've probably said this loads of times, but you don't have to do this step. You can just take it on the outer lash lines at the top and bottom. If your eyes are quite wide, just do the opposite, line the inner corner. Um, of both up and lower and that just helps to bring the eyes back in to the right sort of um, distance from each other. So there, I've just sort of gone top and bottom on the outside and my lower lash line and I'm just going to give that a bit of a blend. It's nice and smudgy this. Blend it inwards. I quite like how soft that's looking. It doesn't have to be a harsh line at all. I'm going to use the little brush that comes in the kit. And I'm just going to set that liner with a bit of the darkest brown in this set. Just kind of in the middle. I won't keep lifting it up so you can see. Because it's a little bit heavy and awkward. And this is nice because it gives a bit of shimmer over the top and just evens out that sort of smoky line. Push away any fallout, like so. Now I'm going to move on to a bit of blusher. I always do my mascara last because I feel that um, in case I get any powder over my face, I don't want it in my lashes. So. Nice ones that go with brown are probably this sort of middle one because it's kind of an orangey peachy shade or the raspberry. Very nice colours. I'm just going to tap with this blusher, it's very soft. So I'm going to take that onto the cheekbone like that 
and slightly up onto the temple and push it back. And it should just take two taps. That's all you need. And up. So that's highlighted the cheekbone really well. And I haven't used a lot. I think for a day look you just you just don't need to. Just need a nice hint of colour. There is a bit of sparkle in this um blusher. The very top one in the set is definitely the least sparkly. Now I'll just tap off that and in the contouring bronzing section there are four of them. There's this really shimmery shade which is a great highlight, two sort of warmer shades that you could use as blushes and then this more matte one which is great for contouring and to do that I'm just going to take my fan brush, dip it in the darkest brown, just tap it off and then reach under the cheekbone like this and upwards to just lift and sculpt. You don't really want to brush downwards because that will make you look like you have a beard. No, which unless you have a beard and you want a beard, we don't want. So there we go. Just lifting and sculpting upwards and then gently over the temples to bring my sort of round face to a bit more definition. A bit along the jawline. Sharpen up that jawline. And then I'm going to take that gorgeous highlight shade, the top one. Just a little dab because it's all very, very powdery and creamy. Just the top of the cheekbones and the chin and the nose. Gloss is here. This one is a gloss, but look at that. It is the perfect colour for me. It kind of enhances my lips. Beautiful colour. Just looking at the timer to see how long this is. Doesn't matter now. Now that my partner can upload a bit more. And there we have it. Last thing to do is a touch of mascara. Curl those lashes and apply. I'm going to use the studio one and just brush it gently through. Do you know that mascara face that we all make? It's hilarious, isn't it? Absolutely hilarious. Can't stop it though, can you? Mine's like, ooh. Wish I could. I don't think I've used this before. It's the lifter and filler. This is the dark one. So you have this two-ended pencil. I'm going to take the lighter end and just place that gently under the brow side, so just under the end here, because you can see that's really sort of opened that up, and just slightly under the arch, and blend it gently with your finger, like so. That's really done a good job. And then fill. So I've got sort of sparse bits here. So I just fill really gently. Don't have to go too wild with that at all. And it kind of grooms them at the same time because it's quite sort of almost sticky so it kind of gets them where you want them. And that just gives me a neat edge to my eyebrows. So there's my everyday look using the medium palette. And don't forget to leave a comment below telling me which out of this beautiful colour assortment you would like me to do a look with next. So there it is. Oops, just opened. There it is. You can see that. Yeah. But um, I'll put in a nice photograph at the end that I've taken using um, a close-up. So just tell me which sort of colours you'd like rather than I want that right one on the left or whatever. Great! Well, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!